What have we got here? This is a treasure. An absolute treat here. May not look at it at first sight. It's a, uh, you know, <laughs> got some stuff going on here with its paint issue and- We'll call it character. It's got some character. It does have a little bit of character. This is an Infinity G35 that you picked up for pretty cheap. Yeah, this is our, the equivalent of a barn find for us. <laughs> the most surprising thing about this particular car was, is that, maybe you guys, this is a little secret. Is that carbon fiber hood? Yeah, with a big bulge in it. Is that this you know what car, a big bulge means. Oh, big bulge is nice. A still in, a full still in supercharger kit on it. And that's what makes this a barn find because that kit is worth well more than what you paid for this oh, yeah. by itself. Plus the guy like, I mean, he kind of didn't tell us a lot about the car. I mean, obviously we bought it for cheap and he wanted it gone. So we weren't going to sit there and pick his brain about it. But uh, apparently this, this supercharger has been rebuilt very recently. So all that stuff has been redone. He was having issues getting it to run. We actually drove it here. We put a battery on it and drove it here. So that was pretty cool. But as we kind of dig into the car, we're, we're sort of trying to, you know, reverse engineer or reverse decide kind of what, what someone was deciding when they built this. Obviously, full stilling kit all the way down to the intake plenum. It has the stilling carbon fiber hood. And so, the exhaust. Yeah, it's got the exhaust too. It clears the, uh, clears the blower so you can actually have a hood that clears the blower because normally you'd have to cut a big hole for that to sit. As far as the interior goes, if you come in here and you can look, the headliner is actually all suede. Suede headliner? <laughs> yeah, this thing's got complete suede headliner all the way down to the pillars and whatnot. Um, obviously, it's got the, uh, you know, the flip-out touchscreen. We're thinking that this was probably around a 2005 or a 6 kind of a build, back when all this stuff was new and trick to have. Um, the seat doesn't actually go up anymore or work at all. So we just had to drive it home, <laughs> sitting in the gangster lean Super position. Super gangster. <laughs> um, overall, though, the car is actually in decent, decent shape. It looks like it's been sitting outside. The driver door's a little rough. Yeah, it got hit in the driver door. So now we get to do the nitty gritty fun part of uh, figuring out what is wrong. And why he wanted to get rid of it for so cheap. Yep. That's is it hot? Part. Yeah, no, we got a title for it. It's <laughs> good. <laughs> There's no flow. And I don't know if maybe it, it uses the heat. This slowly heats up it and heats that just circulates it, it. And then it circles itself. Yeah. It that, seems like it would be so much more efficient with the pump. Yeah, that normally they do. Like anytime we do these on the drift cars or anything, they've got an external pump. And yeah. You turn the pump on and blow it through. But the car seems to run pretty good. Hear the exhaust leak coming out of there. Oh yeah, I can hear that. <laughs> you can hear it blowing the exhaust. <laughs> yeah. You can hear the blower really good up in the front. <laughs> what are those switches down there? They're just mystery switches. We don't know what they go to. Plan on this will be at a pump. Fix the exhaust leak underneath, place the door and the seat. We've got a replacement of both of those. And then maybe coilovers, new wheels. Yeah, style it up a little, you know, buff the headlights out, coilovers and wheels, and we'll just, we'll just, you know, we'll just see what Derek's doing. feeling, you know? Maybe Derek wants. All the things. All the things. Dented door, not dented door. And the seat is in. It doesn't exactly match, but I think it still looks pretty good. We still have to figure out how to make it work. So it doesn't work? Unbeknownst to us, apparently different model years had different plugs on the bottom of the seat. So even though this came out of 
Um, this came out of a four-door G35 from the junkyard. The uh, main power plug isn't the same as the main power plug on the seat we took out. So as of right now, it doesn't move, but it's already a huge improvement because it's not <laughs> in the sleeping position. So we're gonna pull that back apart and then we'll basically get a wiring diagram and then we'll just put the, uh, the old plug on there. So that should all work when we're done. Um, the door swapped over. The windows are having a little bit of an issue. This control panel right here may have already been bad, but it's not controlling these front windows. Yeah. We'll get and, a new one and swap that out. And that's another problem that we're finding is like, must be a common issue on these is that those are always seem to be broken. So we'll just have to keep playing around and trying our luck with junk ones or buy one off of eBay or something. Next step. Sorry we didn't film gutting this all out, but the uh, the struts are all going to get replaced. And uh, what, what do you got in store? Yeah, so on this, we kind of, obviously we wanted to alter the look of the car because it was bone stock and like a 4x4. Four four. So what we're actually going to do on this to keep a very, uh, just like a stiffer stock height or a stiffer stock ride, we're going to put 350Z coil or 350Z like factory suspension on this, not coilovers. But the 350Z struts lower this car between two and three inches. Is that just a direct swap with those? Yep, they bolt right on. So one bolt here, three bolts there. We can swap our struts out and basically play around and see what we want to do with it. So these were the factory wheels that we had on the car, obviously, when we bought it. They're not really in great shape and they're kind of ugly and they're stock and not very fun. So if you follow me over here, this the pile of wheel work CRKs to raise G games to E wings just all manners of ritzy nice expensive wheels those, those don't look special yeah those are factory RS wheels off of Subaru those ones they won't work we have the 57 extremes anyway so the fun part is is now we get to Kind of pick and choose what we want to do so these are 19 inch wheels which is for kind of what we do at the shop we don't use 19s really all that often so this was sort of my choice so for drifting that is right yeah most of our cars most of the drift cars and all that stuff that we do use uh 18 17 to 18 inch wheels so really these have been kind of just chilling here so i kind of want to see how good they look on the car So as far as the styling goes on a G35 sedan, it would be considered, I think, more of a big body car. So 19s are obviously going to be filling up that wheel arch a little bit. So it's only going to be, you know, not too much lower than stock. But if you take a look at that, I think that's going to be a pretty decent look for, for that car. No, I think that looks good. Got some good fitment here. You know, it's pretty flush on the outside. So once the actual suspension's up, it'll, it'll, it'll be look, raised up a bit. Yeah, this, this wheel will be coming up to here and then we can choose our tire size based on like how we want our fitment. And then hopefully it turns out looking really good when we're all done. Baller. Yes. This is what she looks like with her new shoes. I got new shoes. It's got new shoes. These oh, are. I feel left out now. Whoa. Man, those are whack. That yes. looks pretty good though. It's sitting just a hair lower than it was before. It's yeah. not. We it's still not. got some gap there. There's quite a bit of gap still. We got plenty of clearance. I mean. It just depends on what we actually are going to decide to do with this car. I had never put 350Z suspension on a G. Um, we had just heard that it would lower it a little bit, and it did. I mean, it didn't do anything substantial, but 
it makes the car look way better than it did. Like it was almost a four by four. It was crazy. We did clean up the rest of the inside. It, I mean, I think we did really good. Cleaned up nice. The outside could use some help though. Yeah, we've definitely got, um, especially can, this hood. You can see where we kind of rubbed a little bit. Like we won't be able to fix those cracks on the gel coat, but we are going to be able to buff the rest of this hood out. So and hopefully get some of this, whatever that is on it. That's, that's smuts. Would you look at that? <laughs> so next video, we will clean up the hood, headlights. We got to install a water pump for the supercharger. Yep, for the liquid to air intercooler that sits in here. And then we've got an exhaust leak right about there, but underneath that we got to fix as well because it sounds a little ghetto. And maybe just, you know, just clean it up. Basic maintenance. So yeah, next video we'll uh, get this to the point of doing some burnouts and it'll look a lot better, hopefully. Used car salesman. Woo!